Welcome to the 2018 New York Film Festival Actress Roundtable. Tonight's topic, Me Too, Year Two, How We Do in Hollywood. <laughs> Joining me are some of today's brightest stars. First, Marion Cotillard. Yes, je m'appelle, hello. <laughs> She's an Oscar winner and also, I guess, on the show Mom, Miss Allison Janney. Yeah, well, that's me, Pumpkin. Okay, next, the star of Grey's Anatomy and Killing Eve, Sandra O. Oh. Hello. It's an honor to play women who give long speeches immediately after a shower. And finally, a legend of such classic Hollywood films as Shimmy on the Train Tracks and the Jiggle Sisters, the incomparable Debette Goldry. Thank you. I'm... I'm so happy to be here, is what I wanted to say on my tombstone. Would someone write that down? Miss Goldry, I have to say, I'm such a fan. I have all your movies. Oh, And I have no idea who either of us is. <laughs> all right. Well, this week marks the one-year anniversary of the Harvey Weinstein story. Despite the strides Hollywood has made, what still needs to change? You know, some of these men producers are terrified to meet alone with a woman. They need to stop shouting us out. They need to stop giving bad men second chances. They need to stop using our fingerprints when they commit party murders. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's a huge problem in Hollywood. The, you know, these men, they'll have a party at a house in Palm Springs. Some girl takes a nap in the pool, you know. And then they're all, please, baby, just touch the knife. I'll buy you a sweater. Be a pal. <laughs> you girls know what I'm talking about. No, I've never experienced anything like that. Okay, see? <laughs> Progress. So, uh, how do you all think that the movement has spread to the culture at large? You see it with politics now. More women are coming forward. And let me tell you, these politicians can defend their Supreme Court justice all they want, but usually when there's smoke, there's fire. And when there's fire, there's Rita Hayworth taking a cigarette nap. That sleepy <laughs> bitch! <laughs> You, you can see it in those hearings, you know, there's a double standard. If, if a woman acted the way he did, she'd be labeled hysterical. Now, I was labeled hysterical once. <laughs> I, I asked them to clean my costume in between shoot days, and they sent me to a spa to relax and get a lobotomy. <laughs> and now I cannot think or smell. Oh my God, are you okay? I think so. <laughs> Uh, how has the movement affected the types of roles you're being offered? It's exciting that this has sort of compounded the existing conversation on representation. There are so many more roles for Asian women today where before there were almost none. What? No, that's not true. There were plenty of fabulous parts for Asian gals in the 1940s, and I played all of them. <laughs> well, that's offensive. No, it's not, Sander Ho. I was a brunette. <laughs> What's the damn problem? I'm gonna ignore all, all of that because I really like her. I think this moment is an opportunity women are coming forward with stories from a long time ago and they need to be heard. Yeah, I actually would like to come forward about something that happened to me a long time ago. I was babysitting for a very powerful family. Uh, have you heard of the Lindberghs? Yeah, wait, did you lose the Lindbergh baby? Ish. <laughs> I left him on a porch with a sign that said, Famous baby, please don't steal. <laughs> what could I do? I had an audition. Silver lining, I booked it. I was the queen of Cyan. Okay, I'm just gonna reset because my boss is here. Um, do you think there's a place for men in this movement? Absolutely, we need male allies. Right, male ally. That means gay husband, right? I had a lot of male allies. I just want to say that there are plenty of good men who collaborate with women and respect our ideas. Yes, that's right. I had that kind of relationship with Orson Welles when he made Cities in Cain. I was the one that gave him the idea for Rosebud, but I wasn't talking about a darn sled. Okay. I was talking about my wet hole. Okay. <laughs> afraid that we're out of time. Oh, good. Just in time for my cigarette nap. Can we dim the lights, please? <laughs>